Hi, and welcome to another MyCom screencast. This screencast will help you learn how to record and edit audio using the free tool Audacity. The great thing about Audacity is that it is a multi-track audio editing and recording program that is available for free on both Mac and PC. What that means is that you can be editing your audio file on one machine, save it to a thumb drive, and take it with you to any computer, Mac or PC, the one you have at home, the one in the youth room, and open it up. And even if it doesn't have the software on it, you can download it because it's free and continue editing anywhere you need to be. When Audacity opens up, this is what you see. Your play and recording controls are all here on the top left. Then you have your cursor tools, and, and that shows you kind of the different things you might be doing with the audio. I like to keep mine on the multi-tool. It has a, it's a little bit more versatile. Here you have your volume meters. There's lots of other tools that we'll get to in just a little bit. But let's start by recording some audio. I have my microphone hooked up to my computer using the Shure X2U that we uh, referenced in our audio recording for Church Podcasts article on the MyCom website. The great thing about this Shure X2U is it can take any sort of microphone that you already have and it converts it into a USB signal. But however you have your audio running into your computer, maybe you have it on the soundboard in the back of the sanctuary with a cord just running into your input. Once you have the audio coming into your computer, all you need to do is select your input here next to the little microphone symbol. Once you have the audio coming in and the correct input selected, all you need to do is press record. This is a test sermon audio. Now you can see that my audio has come across right here. This is a test sermon audio. And as you hopefully do when you are recording your audio in your sanctuary, there's a little bit before and a little bit after. So we're just going to go ahead and click and drag to select the extra bits here and here and simply press the delete key to delete those. Now we have pre-created a podcast intro that we will put at the beginning of each of our sermons. And we don't have to do that every time. We can just add the audio file in as in another track. To do that, click File, go down to Import, to Audio, and scroll down until we see our podcast intro. It's important that you go ahead and Save this as an MP3 or an MP4 like we have here. Click Open, and it comes in right here. Now that we have some audio in here, let's look at a little bit more at the tools. You'll notice at each track, there is, this, uh, there is a volume slider. There is a left-right balance slider. There's also the solo and mute buttons. Solo and mute buttons work the same as they do on a soundboard. When you press the solo button, this is a test sermon audio. You hear only that track. When you tr press the mute button, it mutes that track. You are listening to a podcast. It doesn't make a whole lot of sense when you just have two tracks. But when there are many tracks, you can see how muting one or soloing one would have a different effect. Now let's get to editing this audio. Now, if we play the audio tracks together, we can see that they're not quite matched up where they should be. This you is were listening a test to a podcast. sermon. The easiest way to move audio in Audacity is to simply select it, cut, move the cursor down to where you want it, and press paste. Now we can see that we've got a little overlap. This is a test sermon. Sermon audio doesn't always come across at a perfectly levelized volume. And you can see here that we've got this peak right here in our audio. We can go through and change the volume of the audio using the envelope tool. So we will click on the envelope tool, which is the two triangles with the dot in between them. And we come over here and we adjust the volume by clicking and dragging up and down. Every time we click, 
we create a point that we can control. You always want to create a little reference point before your point that you're controlling so that it'll leave the audio there. What we'll see here is we can take our audio and create a little valley with the volume right around that peak. And you can hear, this is a test sermon audio. And that part of the volume has been normalized. Common use for the envelope tool is to create fades. If we want to fade this out using the envelope tool, we can do that by creating a couple of different edits here. and you'll hear a nice fade out. This is a test circle. However, we can also fade out by using a simple fade out tool. We'll select part of the audio and go up to effect, down to fade out, and that will create a nice even fade out. This is a test sermon audio. Now that we've got everything the way that we want it, it's time to export. So we go down to File, Export Audio. We have lots of different options that we can export the audio. But the best for podcast is MP3. They're smaller and can be played on basically every device. So we'll say, My Test Sermon. We'll put that on the desktop, press save, and we see my test sermon right here. You are listening. We're in a pretty quiet, clean environment right now, but sermons don't always come in with that clean of audio. Oftentimes, you need to do a little bit of noise reduction to make it sound professional. To show you that, I've created a file that has some noise. This is an example noise track. Now what we want to do here is remove the noise and leave the voice. To do that, we'll use the noise removal effect. But before we start, we want to select a portion of the audio that is just noise. After selecting that, we'll go up to effect down to noise removal. When it comes up for the first time, you need to click Get Noise Profile. What that's going to do is listen to the portion you've selected and set the frequencies that are coming across in that noisy portion as the frequencies it's going to turn down. Now that you've made the noise profile, you'll select all of the audio with the noise, click Effect, go back down to noise removal, and these defaults are probably going to be okay, but just in case, you can always click preview and listen to what it's going to sound like. This is an example noise track. Now, no noise reduction is perfect, but that sounds pretty good to me. I'm going to press OK, and you can watch as the noise almost disappears. So we've taken you through opening, recording, removing noise, exporting your audio, so that you can have a great church podcast. For more tips and tools for church leaders, make sure to check us out at umcom.org.